Dear students, welcome back. I am your assistant teacher, Malakulani. So students, as you know, we are discussing four chapter of geography. The name of the chapter is A. So students, in this chapter, we have already discussed about the air and what is atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? The thin blanket of air is known as the atmosphere. And also we have discussed about the composition of air or atmosphere. In composition of the air or atmosphere, we have discussed about there are so many gases with different different proportion with different different properties as all the gases are very important for the survival of the human being. Okay, and also we have discussed about the structure of the atmosphere. In atmosphere, in the structure of the atmosphere, we have discussed about the five layer. The first layer is troposphere. The second, stratosphere. Third is mesosphere. Fourth one is Atmosphere and last is exosphere. And we have discussed about their why they are important in our atmosphere. And also we have discussed about the weather or the climate. Weather and Climate. Where we discussed about the definition of the weather or the climate. What is weather? Weather is refers to day to day condition of our atmosphere. It can change any time. So we can say the weather is a dynamic. Okay. On the other hand, the climate it is a condition of the atmosphere for a long area for a long period of time about thirty two. 40 years. So students, in this we have discussed about the elements of temperature. We have we will discuss about these elements one by one as we have discussed about the temperature that in fact the weather or the climate what is temperature temperature that you can see that every time you can see the temperature is changing during the day the temperature is different during the night the temperature is different so students the insulation of a place if the amount of insulation it decreases so the temperature also decreases when the insulin is insulation is increases so the temperature also increases that's why in the temperate zone the insulation is high in compared to the present zone so students let's discuss about the second element air pressure So students, before understanding the air pressure, let's first discuss the instrument used for measuring these things. First, the temperature. It's measured by the thermometer. The second is pressure. That we will discuss now. The pressure we can measure it by the 
barrow wheat. So third is amount of rainfall. We can measure this by the rain goes. And the last one is direction of wind. Can be measured by wind wind. So students, let's discuss about the best pressure which can be measured by the barometer. Students, let's discuss about the air pressure. Let us connect this with the weather or the climate. The factors that influences these, the weather or the climate is the first is temperature, the second is pressure. So the pressure, can you feel the pressure from all sides to your body? Yes, when we go up to the altitude, upward to the altitude, really we feel difficulty. It is because that when we go upward to the altitude, the pressure decreases and that's why we feel difficulty when we go upward to the altitude. So students, the air has weight. Do you know that the air has weight? Yes. Let me tell you with an example. See, when the balloon is blown up by you, it is much heavier than the flat one. So we can say that the air has a weight. So the air pressure exerted by the weight of air on the earth surface. So the pressure, the air pressure is high to the sea level but it decreases with the altitude. Clear? So the horizontally the distribution of the air pressure is influenced by the temperature of the air at a given place. The, the distribution of the air pressure is influenced by the temperature. Temperature means where the temperature will be high. So the what will happen? When the temperature will be high, so the pressure will be low. Means the pressure will be decreases. When the temperature will be low, so the pressure will be high. So first affecting the pressure. First factor is altitude, temperature, moisture, or rotation. What is altitude? When we go higher up in the sky, so the density of the air will be low. And when we are at the sea level, so the uh, air temperature, though, so the air pressure will be high because we are having so many gases at the sea level as we have discussed in the structure of the air. We have, we have discussed about the five layers. In first layer, we have discussed about in the troposphere that 90% of the air is existed there. So, the, it decreases rate is 1 mb for every 10 meters increase in height above sea level. So the what is temperature? See the temperature. When the temperature increases, so what will happen? The air gets light and air expands, air will expand and there like, later on it will rise up and producing low pressure exerts low, less pressure. So what is moisture? When the environment, when the atmosphere contains the moisture, so what will happen? The pressure will be high and the temperature will be low. And the rotation also, these four factors are very important that it affect the air pressure. Let's discuss more about the air pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by the weight of the air on the earth's surface. The atmospheric pressure can be measured by an instrument called barometer. The normal atmospheric pressure of sea level is about 76 centimeters of the mercury column in the barometer. Horizontal distribution of pressure. Whenever there is an increase in the 
temperature of air it gets heated and expands in volume and becomes lighter due to the less weight the heated air rises up causing low pressure but at high altitude the same air gets cooled and becomes heavier and thus it descends down causing high pressure vertical distribution of pressure atmospheric pressure decreases with height the decreasing rate of pressure with increasing height is valuable as we go up the atmospheric becomes thinner and thinner and its pressure also goes and decreases this is the reason why high pressure is found at the sea level due to dense atmosphere the lower areas of plains have high pressure but on the mountain the pressure becomes low vertical distribution of the pressure word pressure system the main pressure belts of the word are the following first equatorial low pressure belt second subtropical high pressure belt third subpolar low pressure belt fourth polar high pressure belt equatorial low pressure belt equatorial area is a region of high temperature due to its intense heating of the atmosphere heats up extends and becomes light hence the air starts rising up in a vertical ascent causing low pressure on the ground the horizontal movement of the wind in this belt is very feeble it is therefore a calm belt it is also known as a doldrum it is a zone of wind conveyance subtropical high pressure belt this belt extends between 30 degree and 35 degree latitudes in both of the atmosphere hence the winds are comparatively dry and calm this is a zone of descending winds and wind diversions this region or belt is often referred to as horse latitudes subpolar low pressure belt this belt extends between 60 degree and 65 degree latitudes in both the hemisphere this is a zone of wind convergence the rotary movement of the earth causes low density of atmosphere over this belt hence the atmosphere over this belt is thin and thin atmosphere can exert only low pressure around the north pole and the south pole the temperature remains low and thus a permanent high pressure develops over the pole so students our next topic is wind as you so students so students our next topic is wind wind is a third factor that influences the weather or the climate the air which blows from high pressure to low pressure it is known as a wind when the air moves vertically it is known as a air current and when it blows horizontally so it is known as a wind so students you might know or you have seen that when we move when it is windy time when we move so it is very difficult to carry the umbrella and it is very difficult to move against the wind so students how the air is moved from high pressure to low pressure area let us see see this is the power this is equator line this is equator line here we have torrid zone
लो प्रेशर दिया सो फ्रॉम हाई प्रेशर मीन्स फ्रॉम टैबलेट जो हो दॉरेट जो हो Due to horizontal difference in air pressure, air flows from area of high pressure to area of low pressure. This movement of air is known as the wind. A wind is named after the direction from which it blows. For example, the wind blowing from west is called westerly. There are different types of winds. First, permanent winds. Second, periodic winds. third local winds permanent winds the winds which blow throughout the year in a particular direction and over a particular region is known as the permanent winds they are also known as the prevailing winds or planetary winds they are the trade winds anti trade winds and the third polar wind second is periodic winds These are the winds which blows over a particular period of a year in a particular definite direction over a particular area. These winds develop due to unequal heating and cooling of the surface of the earth. The periodic winds or the seasonal winds are also called monsoons. Monsoon winds are seasonal winds which blow from sea towards land mass in one season and then from land towards sea in the other season of the year during summer season the land mass heats up rapidly and an intense low pressure area develops over central asia which attracts the wind from high pressure as a result the southeast trade winds across the equator and blow over the Southeast Asia and bring heavy rainfall to several parts of Asia. These are known as the summer monsoon and southwest monsoons. During winter season, the land mass becomes cooler and the pressure over central Asia becomes high. From this high pressure area, the winds blow towards equatorial low pressure area in the northeast direction these are known as winter monsoons and northeast monsoons local winds local winds blow over a limited area and have local significance they are of two different types first land and sea breezes second mountain and valley winds land and sea breezes Land and sea breezes develop due to the difference in the rate of heating and cooling of the land mass and the sea. During daytime the land heats up quicker than a sea. Thus a local low pressure area develops over the land and high pressure over the sea. And the wind begins to blow from sea to land known as sea breeze. During night the land releases the heat quickly and becomes the area of low pressure while the sea water releases heat very slowly thus there is a high pressure over the land and low pressure over the sea and the wind begins to blow from land to sea known as land breeze mountain and valley winds 
During the day, the sun's rain falls on the mountain tops, so the temperature begins to rise, causing low pressure on mountain tops. In the meanwhile, valley has low temperature because it is protected by mountain ranges, so the valley has high pressure and the wind begins to blow from the valley towards mountains. These winds are known as the valley winds. During the night, the mountain tops get cooler because they release the heat quickly, while the valley being protected by the mountain ranges release the heat slowly. Thus, high pressure develops over the mountain and low pressure over the valley and winds begin to blow from mountains down to the valley known as the mountain winds. Blue. It is a hot and dry wind which blow over the plains of North India during summer season. Chinook It is a warm and dry wind which blows over the eastern side of the Rocky Mountain in the North America. It is also known as the snow eater. Now let's discuss about the humidity. Humidity the amount of, the water, amount of vapor water vapor or the moisture, or the moisture present, present in a given volume of air, of air is, is termed as, termed as humidity. humidity. It helps in, it helps cooling, in cooling and heating of the atmosphere. atmosphere. The actual amount, the of, actual water amount of water vapor in a given volume, a given of, volume of, air of air is known as, known as the total humidity, total humidity or, or absolute, absolute humidity. humidity. The ratio between the, ratio the actual between amount of water amount vapor of water present vapor in a given in volume, a given of, volume air of air and the water vapor the water which vapor. the same volume of this air can contain till its saturation level is called relative humidity. Condensation Due to decrease in temperature, the water vapor starts converting into liquid water droplets. This process is called condensation. Condensation has various forms. Dew. On cool nights during winter when the earth radiates heat and gets cooler, etc., which could be seen in the early morning. This is called dew. Frost. When the temperature falls down to 0 degrees Celsius, the water drops form ice crystals which are known as frost. Fog or mist. Fog is formed by the condensation that takes place on the dust particles floating near the earth's surface. It can be seen during the peak winter season. Clouds Clouds, Clouds are a Clouds mass, are a of, mass minute of minute droplets, droplets of water, of water formed, formed by, by the condensation, condensation of water vapors, vapors in, in the, the upper atmosphere. atmosphere. On the basis of, On this, the basis appearance of this appearance and the attitude at which the clouds are classified into the following, into the following categories. categories. Nimbus, clouds, Nimbus clouds, cumulus clouds, clouds, Columbus clouds stratus clouds, clouds and, and cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds. Nimbus, clouds. Nimbus clouds. These clouds occur These clouds at, low occur at low levels. They are dark grey or, black, or in black in appearance. They cause they heavy cause rainfall. Heavy rainfall. Cumulus clouds. They appear like Cumulus a cloud. cauliflower. They, appear like they are often white or grayish. They are, often white they are also the rain bearing clouds. They are also the rain -bearing Stratus clouds. clouds. They Stratus appear clouds. like thin they sheets like in, the sky. in the sky. They are whitish they and are they whitish hardly and bring, they any bring any rainfall. Cirrus clouds. Cirrus These clouds, clouds look These like clouds the bird's like feathers. The bird feathers. They are often they known are as often feathery, known clouds. As feathery clouds. clouds. They do not bring, they do rainfall. Not bring rainfall. Precipitation. Precipitation, Precipitation is the process is under, the process which, under the which the condensed water vapors water fall vapor on, the on the ground in various in forms, forms such as rain, such as snow, rain, sleet, snow, and hail. Sleet and rainfall. Rainfall. Rainfall is, is the falling down of moisture from the atmosphere in the, in the form, form of liquid, of liquid water, water drops. drops. Rainfall is of three types. Convectional rainfall, rainfall of three relief types. rainfall, Conventional cyclonic rainfall, rainfall, rainfall and convectional rainfall. rainfall. Conventional when the air rainfall. comes in contact when with the, the hot surface of the earth, it gets heated. 
becomes lighter and starts rising up. Thus, convectional currents are formed. On reaching the upper layer of the atmosphere, the air starts cooling. Then, condensation takes place and clouds are formed. And if a critical temperature is reached, then the rain occurs. This is called convectional rainfall. Relief rainfall when the relief when features, the relief features such, as such as mountains come in the way of the a way moist, of the wind, moist wind then the wind then is the forced wind is to rise up, up the mountain the, mountain. the rising the wind rising starts cooling wind start and then cooling condensation, and takes, condensation place, takes place and the clouds and are formed clouds are form. cyclonic, cyclonic rainfall, rainfall. Cyclones, cyclones are the centers are the of, center low of low pressure, pressure. The, the air converges, converges from all directions, all directions towards, towards the low, the low pressure. pressure. It is it forced is to, rise to rise up. The rising, the rising air gets cooled, gets cooled condensed, condensed and, clouds and clouds are formed, are formed which, which ultimately, ultimately bring rainfall. rainfall.